And this is what we call the phenomenon of emergence. What is emergence? One of the great features of the world that really helps us understand it and grasp it is that the world appears to us in layers. What I mean by that is you can sort of look at the world and perceive it at different levels of focus. You know, we human beings, we walk through the world and you say, what is the world made of? Well, there's peoples, there's chairs and tables, and there's plants and animals and the floor and the building and whatever. There's a set of objects that exist in the world. And then if you ask a scientist, a particle physicist, what is the world made of? They might say, oh, the world is made of elementary particles. It's made of electrons and protons and neutrons and forces acting on them. So who is right? Are there people and animals and plants in the world? Or is the world really made of electrons and protons and neutrons? Did, did realizing that there were atoms and particles in the world make us wrong about the existence of people and animals and plants? No, it did not. They're both true at the same time. And this is what we call the phenomenon of emergence. The idea that there's more than one way of talking about how the universe works. So then there's higher level ways emergent levels in the macroscopic reality that we perceive every day that still tell us something true and useful about the world, even though our information about it is radically incomplete.